The basketball teams at Boise State and LaSalle have never played one another before. As Coach Rice put it on Selection Sunday, they don't know us and we don't know them. The Broncos and Explorers may not know each other, but they do know themselves, and the two teams are pretty similar. I can't remember another game I've coached in where I've, I was surprised at the, the, the high level of similarity. They're very similar. They play four guards. And we play a lot of guards. You know, we play four at a time. They can all dribble, pass, and shoot. They move the ball while they shoot the three. You know, it's, it's the way we play. And both of us have had success with it. Boise State finished the year 21-10, and 10, tied for fourth in the Mountain West. LaSalle went 21 and 9 and was tied for third in the Atlantic 10. According to the ratings point index, the Broncos are the 44th best team in the country. The Explorers, the 40th. Because, you know, they play just like us. BSU went 10 and 3 out of conference. LaSalle, 10 and 4. The Broncos have four wins over top 50 teams. The Explorers have two. It's who can execute, who can kind of have their. Uh, their will to get it done over 40 minutes because they're going to present some problems for us defensively and hopefully we can present some problems for them. Four explorers average over 10 points a game. Guards Ramon Galloway, Tyreek Duran and Tyrone Garland and forward Jarrell Wright. We don't feel like we rely on any one person to score. Only three Broncos can say the same, but the top two are more productive. Anthony Drimmick and Derek Marks were the top scoring duo in the entire Mountain West this year. All of them shoot the ball well, but you know the, the kid from Australia can really shoot the ball. And uh, number two, draw the ball a lot. He's a strong guard. But how do the coaches stack up? Both of them have been working the baseline since 1989. Leon Rice has been the boss at BSU for three seasons. Dr. John Giannini. Their coach is a doctor, so he's a lot smarter than I am, <laughs> no question. Has been running the LaSalle program for seven years. Both are making their first NCAA tournament appearance. During his press conference today, Coach Rice said the reason he took the job at Boise State was because of the success of the Broncos football program. And the face of that program wasn't above contacting Leon when he found out about Boise State's tournament berth. He sent a great text. And the moment I got there, uh, he said, oh, I'm so excited to get the you know, Gonzaga guy down here. I've been wanting to you know, pick your guys' brains about some of the things you do. And I said, whoa, 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 you're 51 and three. You don't need to be picking my brain on anything. So, but they've been just great. I mean, I've had him speak to our team. Uh, you know, we visit with those guys all the time on, on how they've done it and learned a lot from them. Plenty of NCAA tournament pools are just won by people picking the better mascot. The Broncos, pretty self-explanatory. But the Explorers were actually named the Explorers by mistake. No, not that bad of a mistake. A Philadelphia sports writer thought the school's name was in reference to French explorer Sierre de La Salle, when in actuality, La Salle is an homage to Jean-Baptiste La Salle, the patron saint of teachers. Stupid sports writers. Yeah, just, I'm, I'm sure they feel the same way about us. This year's explorers are out to prove that their first NCAA tournament berth in 21 years, unlike their nickname, was no mistake. When I walked in class, they gave me a standing ovation. My teacher was happy. Every class I went to, they were saying how excited they were to finally have LaSalle back in the tournament. But as far as our team, I think we celebrated on Sunday. Then Monday, it was right back to work. The Broncos and Explorers will really go to work tomorrow. Tip-off is at 710 Mountain Time. After that, Roland Barris and I will conclude our report. For now, in Dayton, Paul Gerke, Idaho on your side.